Well, this is strange. Hello everyone, I'm the Moy Chicken and welcome back to more Touch Detective 2. At the end of the last episode, this strange creature showed up and poked a hole in Mayor Tom's picture. And now, it's eyeing us suspiciously. Oh no, I'm next. Yeah. Ah! Oh, it's gone. Yeah? What was that? I don't know. It's just a weird thing that showed up. All right, well, let's, let's, let's do what we were going to do. I think I can do it now. Oh, you're Mackenzie, the Touch Detective, aren't you? I'm getting very excited about the new big press conference. Oh, that's another one in my way. Boy, what's me amazing discovery again? D why are you asking me? This? What are you doing? N nothing What's my amazing discovery again, Torch Detective? Uh, why are you asking me? Uh... The director's portrait. Not this amber orb, nor this statue that I want to work with. The director's portrait. Oh, yes, that's right. Looks a little crooked. Let me fix it up a bit. Now's my chance. <laughs> sneaky. Sneaky. You're gonna notice right away if it's gone. I should switch it with a fake one. Okay. Um. Uh. A fake one. Okay. Um. That well, archaeologist got it scared and ran away. Really? I passed out and when I woke up, he was gone. Not a victory for me. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm guess I have a guess that I need to use the um hardener on something. Oh, maybe a marshmallow. Can I go get a marshmallow? Hang on. Let me see if I can get a marshmallow. Marshmallow. Give me a marshmallow. No, I want it though. No, nothing. I, I thought that was going to be it. Ah, I thought that was going to be it. Okay, I need to find an, a small object that I can then use hardener on. Um, can I use it on this? Oh, wait. Maybe I can do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, combine this and that. Just pour it in pour pour it in in in, in there. Eh. Mm. I thought I had something there. What's this? What did I just pick? What is this? Honey. Amber colored. Ooh, I got an idea. Like this? Okay. He's been done homemaker. Okay. Experiment. Hardened honey. Okay. Yeah, okay. Boy, this was just luck. I just sort of found these objects and used them together. Wow. This century's most amazing discovery. Looks like an amber orb. Awesome. All right, well, I did it. <laughs> Feels very arbitrary. It's like, did you find these items? Use them together. Congratulations. Good job. All right. So now I will use amber orb. swap -a Okay. It's just really my amazing discovery, Torch Detective. Love a feeling it's not. Um, um... Hey! Boy, that was horrible. Absolutely horrible. There are two archaeologists. What's going on? Meh, meh, meh. Which one do I shoot? Which one's the Cornstalker? It's that one. That's the Cornstalker. Uh, 
Oh, okay. Someone hit me on the head and don't knock me out cold. They tied me up on a really thick rope. Well, I was thinking to myself, hey, Steve, that isn't good. Who's Steve? When I was younger, me, me friends called me the Puzzle Ring King. So one time the rope was a piece of cake for me. I escaped in no time. I'd say the difficulty level is four stars out of five. And then there came the odd pot, because I was trapped. How? Psychologically. <laughs> I was trapped psychologically. What? Undoing the rings is only after puzzle, but to put them back together. So I redid everything like it was before. What? And then I was all tied up again. <laughs> what a sneaky trap, using a guy's strength against him. I wouldn't call that a trap. So I did this like two or three more times. He kept doing it. And then the rope broke and I finally escaped. So that story was way too long. Could he be... Hmm. The corn stalker? What? A corn stalker? No, he's here to steal me this moment and made a discovery. You filthy airy monster. If you leave one single air on that amber orb, you're not leaving air alive. Whoa! So, the amber orb is the treasure then. Oh! Oh! Dra Stop right there! Bye-bye. Hehehe. <laughs> Alright, finally. Use... Oh my gosh, okay. Yay! Uh, are you well? Oh, you did it, thank you. I thought I'd never be able to return to the living. I don't really look alive, but you know, your good deed deserves some experience points. Let's say 7,650. Um, I, I don't really need any points. I'll also give you an agility stat buff. Uh, thanks, I guess? Huh? Oh, it's that thing again! Ah! <laughs> You're afraid of them, huh? <laughs> really afraid of them, huh? Well, yeah, I mean... Explaining? What? Why? Hey, explain yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I see, see. Uh, they were trying to warn us about an impending crisis. Hmm? They're, they're good beings, they just aren't that smart. They can't speak our language, so they dug out one of the statue's eyes. Oh, primitive communication. Okay. Why were you fossilized? I'm a living fossil. I normally exist in a different dimension. <laughs> My eye enables me to live in this dimension. However, it fell out. When that happened, I could no longer remain here. So I was turned into a fossil. Oh, I see. I have no idea what he just said. Not your eye. I don't really know why. When I heard the announcement for the Noodle Festival, my tears started flowing in the opposite direction. They had a great deal of force, too. So... So they popped my eye out. Oh. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> my tear glands are connected to the Cambrian Ocean. <laughs> Freaking what? <laughs> I raise extinct organisms with my tears. Then I place them in the geological layers. Once you get the hang of it, it becomes quite easy. Yeah, right. Yeah, all right, cool. That was fun. <laughs> Consider the case closed. Then shall we? <laughs> okay, bye. Case closed. Doesn't sound like it. Oh, snap! Cornstalker! Friends! Whoa! See you in the next episode! That's not his voice. That sounds more like Dracula. I hope not. Huh. Oh. Nerf, nerf. Oh, that actually was the end of the episode? Boy, this one was really sh- what was that? One, two, three, four, and this is five. Five at my own? I guess five episodes isn't so sure. This one felt like it just flew by, though. Whatever. Investigation report. Let's see. The pyramid was designated a fossil preservation site. You have to receive a permit to excavate fossils now. But the archaeologist isn't allowed isn't allowed to be issued one. He was really sad because it was all his idea. Poor guy. And um oh yeah. The sea bottom dwellers 
Why are they called that when they live in the mountains? I should ask them sometime. And... Oh yeah, Chloe. She started her training to become Daria's apprentice. She's training with her every day and every night. She has a lot of free time. And... And... I guess that's it. The case has been solved. Alright, well... There we go! Three cases down. I think, in total... This has... Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I guess... I thought it had six cases. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Alright, well, as we did last time, let's check the new characters and see who we've got. So we, we were introduced to new people this time, so let's see. Um, we got, let's see, Harrison. He is a tough archaeologist who is extremely loud. His portrait looks... Honestly, his portrait looks a lot cooler than his, like, in-game sprite, I think. I like his face a lot better in the portrait. Fossil Hunter. The townspeople say he's a great man who contributes to the economy by collecting fossils. Okay, so... That is a eye patch. The entire time, I thought the big black circle was an empty eye socket. Okay, I got it now. Sea bottom dwellers. The architects of the pyramid. Their existence is one of our town's greatest mysteries. Has he got, like, a stick on his arm? Is it, like, a costume? Is the joke that it's, like, a costume? Look, because he's got, like, a... He's got, like, a stick up here. Oh, I can't tap there. Um, he's got, like, a stick on his right arm. And you can see, like, a foot. Maybe it's just, like... A costume? I don't know. Anyway, that's it. Uh, so in the next episode, I guess we will go on to uh, the next next uh, adventure. So I hope you'll come back and join me for that. I'm the Watcher, and this has been Touch Detective 2. And thank you for stopping by. <laughs>